Okay, so um, back to commentary on um, the cards in Magic 2010. Um, <coughs> so here's Ice Cage. Uh, it's like a new pacifism. Um, colorless and a blue enchant creature. Enchanted creature can't attack or block. And it's activated, all these can't be activated, which, you know, that part's better than pacifism because it stops abilities. But um, it says when the creature becomes the target of a spell or ability, uh, you have to destroy the ice cage. So, uh, not a big fan of this card. Um, I mean, it depends on how many things can actually target creatures. You know, um, clearly they wouldn't want to target their own guy with removal or whatnot. So, I mean, it matchup dependent. Uh, might be okay. It really depends on the other cards in the set. Maybe a mid-range pick. Um, Ignite Disorder, uh, colorless and a red, does three damage divided as you choose among any number of wh white or blue creatures to reprint from Conflux. Um, it's always a really good sideboard card, but uh, I wouldn't take it too high because some decks you won't have any targets. Uh, Illusionary Servant, uh, three for a three four flying. When it becomes the target of a spell or ability, sack it. Uh, he's probably okay. Um, most things they would target it with uh, are removal anyway, but depends on how many guys have, like, you know, prevent one damage to target and stuff like that or whatever. Or target creature must attack, things like, you know, that guy. Uh, I wouldn't take it super high. Um, maybe lower end. Indestructibility is kind of interesting. Uh, three and a white. Um, Enchantment Aura, this is a new rare they made. Um, Enchanted Permit is indestructible. Um, against a deck with Bounce in it, this card's horrible. Uh, but against like a red or red black deck or whatever, um, it could be pretty good. Um, uh, so long as they don't have like a pacifism effect. <laughs> That'll do it too, or a tapper, right? But uh, it's okay. Um, four mana for not making your creature any bigger or anything is kind of expensive, so... I certainly wouldn't take it very highly. Um, maybe like, um, you know, 10th, 11th pick kind of a thing. 9th or 8th. Inferno Elemental, 4 and 2 red. It's a new card. Uh, uncommon for a 4-4 four, four Elemental. When Inferno Elemental becomes uh, blocked by a creature, Inferno Elemental deals 3 damage to that creature. So... He's a 4-drop that hits for 7 um, in creature exchanges. So that part's not bad. Um, he, they can't gang block him because um, he'll just kill everything. Uh, he's got like a certain kind of first strike. So, you know, he'll win the fight against a 4-3 without trading. So that's pretty good. Um, definitely a good quality creature. I'd take him up there with the top creatures. Uh, not big flyers or anything, but pretty good. Um, mana barbs. Um, whenever a player taps a land for mana, mana barb steals one damage to that player. Uh, it's a reprint. Four mana. This was always kind of an expensive card. Uh, four mana. It's pretty expensive. Um, of course, once it comes down, um, if you're playing like a burn deck against them, you know, that could be the end of the game. Master of the Wild Hunt is a new epic, mythic rare, sorry. Um, two colorless and two green for a human shaman, 3-3. Three, three. At the beginning of your upkeep, you put a 2-2 two, two green wolf creature token into, p into play onto the battlefield. Um, tap him to tap all your untapped wolf creatures. Each wolf you tap this way deals damage equal to its power to target creature. That creature deals damage equal to its power divided as its controller chooses among any number of the wolves. So, you know, eventually you can use him to start killing uh, all your opponent's creatures, so that's pretty good. He's a, like a um, green royal assassin, plus he's making a 2-2 two -two token every turn for free. I mean, the guy's a ridiculous bomb. You know, take him almost over anything if you're in green. Uh, Megrim got reprinted. Um, you know, it's always been kind of a slow card. Never had the cards printed that would work very well with it. Um, Merfolk Looter, uh, reprinted, colors in a blue for 1-1, draw a card, discard a card, always good, um, 
especially in this kind of format, I'd take him pretty highly. Uh, take those over Council, this or Tommy, I think. Um, and uh, above a lot of decent creatures. Sovereign Merfolk is the Merfolk Lord that they printed in the new cycle. Uh, colorless and two blue for a 2-2. Uh, Merfolk, other Merfolk get plus one plus one. Tap, target Merfolk uh, is unblockable this turn. So, um, so obviously if you have a lot of Merfolk is amazing. Um, otherwise, it's not that great um, mid-range pick. Uh, if you have the cards for it, you could take it high. Mace Enchantress, colorless and two white for a human druid, zero two. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, you may draw a card. So here they said um, they've changed the word play to cast to um, um, to delineate the difference between putting like a land into play or casting a spell. So everything other than land is cast. Um, and you... Uh, or an activated ability would be played, you know. Anyway, Miss Enchantress, uh, yeah, almost never going to be good and limited. Maybe. I mean, if you have a lot of, just a ton of enchantments that are good for some reason, I, I can't think of how you could get enough. Um, Might evokes four for target creature gets plus seven, plus seven. Certain pl I'd certainly play it. Um, Mid-range pick. If they, kill the, if they kill your guy in response, that's pretty bad. But it's 4 for 7 damage. Mind Control is a functional reprint of Persuasion. So 3 and 2 blue, enchant creature. You enchant, you control enchanted creature. Um, always going to be a really high pick. It's almost... Uh, I would take it over any bombs. Um, uh, I think I would take this over el Air Elemental. Because um, it's uh, 2 for 1. And... Um, yeah, it's amazing. <coughs> Though hopefully you never have to make that choice. Uh, Mind Rot, two and a black. Target player discards two cards. Uh, it's okay. Mind Shatter, on the other hand, is amazing. Um, double black and X. Target player discards X cards at random. As if just having them discard X cards wasn't good enough. So that's a bomb. Um, take that pretty high. Uh, sometimes they'll get ahead of you and... It's not good in the light game. It's not nearly as good as Mind Spring. Two blue and X. Draw X cards. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll play that in any deck. Uh, take that over almost anything. Mind Spring. If you're in blue. Uh, Mirror of Fate. Uh, Sack Mirror of Fate. Choose up to seven face up exiled cards, which are the removed from game cards uh, you own. Uh, exile all cards from your library, then put the chosen cards on top of your library. So I guess with two of these you could um, um, you could kind of do this infinitely, um, or would it be three? So you exile a certain number of cards. Well, if one of the exiled cards is Mirror of Fate, right? Um, uh, then you get six cards back in Mirror of Fate, like on the bottom. You play all your you know prearranged cards, and then you Mirror of Fate again with seven cards from your library, which would include another Mirror of Fate, and you can just do it infinitely. So, uh, maybe you set up a bunch of um, uh, Twin Cast and uh, um, uh, Time Warps, you know, kind of thing. Uh, this could become a broken card. I could definitely see it uh, if it found the right deck. It's a really interesting card. Otherwise, it'll be, you know, garbage and won't be worth anything if it doesn't find a home. Kind of like... Uh, uh, you know, a lot of combo combo deck cards. Anyway, um, cool card. Uh, limited. Clearly, it's horrible. Miss Leopard. Uh, three and a green for a 3-2 Shroud. Fine. Not great. Trades for Grizzly Bear. I uh, wouldn't take it too high. Um, like 11th, 12th pick. Mold Adder. Um, one green for a 1-1. One, one. Whenever an opponent casts a blue or black spell, you put a plus one, plus one counter on him. Uh, I wouldn't play this guy main deck, but uh, he's a good board card. Um... Starts to get to a reasonable size pretty quickly. Panic attack. Uh, in the right kind of deck, this card shines. Um, if you have like a super aggro deck, but a lot of times in the base sets, 